Just wait till you see this team of wacky, wonderful wizards. Practice this one. Yeah. It's, it's the baggage. What's it called in German? It's called in German Das uh, Gepäck. Okay. And you're relying on magic? Yeah, sure. We, we have lots of uh, magical tricks in stock. They should be really afraid of us. Gonna kick some ass. It all depends whether they believe. <laughs> 36 volt powered, has 20 mile an hour top speeds, invertible two very powerful engines, spikes to push and impale, but no great weaponry there. Roboteers, stand by. That's Skepek, Peter Kern and Kes Sicking. Ansgar's Revenge, Joachim, Suncha and Sasha. Sir Killalot. Knows neither friend nor foe, totally uncaring, as is Dead Metal. Two, one, two, eight. Fighting for Germany, these two, don't forget. They'll meet if they go all the way. A UK machine in the final. Descapec thrusting Ansgar's revenge into Dead Metal straight away. Up goes that funny sort of lifting bar shovel and descends. Dead Metal, therefore, is caught on Ansgar's revenge, which won't bother Dead Metal at all, but it will do the German robot. What is that wobbly sort of head? On the front bar. This is supposed to be a Viking's head? Are we, uh, what, are we supposed to be terrified? Is it supposed to bother us a kilowatt? I doubt it. Ansgar's revenge being lifted, dragged, pulled as Daskapek lowers the pit. Daskapek. Very quick across the arena. We thought it might be at 20 miles an hour. Ansgar's revenge simply hasn't got going, has it? Into the angle grinder. Daskapek pushing forward. 95 kilos, half the weight of Ansgar's revenge. It's a basic Robot Wars rule. If it's a walking machine, it can have double the weight of the others, or roughly. They look worried, Ansgar's Revenge, and so they should be. But for me, Daskapet is the best machine we have seen so far in this UK Germany special. Ansgar's Revenge in all sorts of trouble there. We've seen Ansgar, a previous incarnation of this machine, in uh, the second World Championships of Robot Wars when it fought for Germany. And this looks like Cease. success for Daskapek. Ceases call. Technically, it goes to the judges. Well, I've just heard from the judges. It didn't take long. It's obvious who won. Ansgar Revenge, totally battered. Daskapek go marching on! Magic at work under the bonnet. Right, now, I want to prove it. Open it up, let's have a look inside. Careful, careful. Oh, oh, oh. You know. Powered by a black hole, is it? Yeah, sure. Oh, there it is, there's the black hole. You what see, will it mean you... for this robot to fight against the UK? How important is it for you to get through? It should be so nice. It would be so nice, right. would it? Yeah. Uh, we got a little magic of our own, don't forget. Okay. <laughs> They're weird, those wizards. Peter Kern, Case Seeky. Stefan Du, Thomas Dietz, Susan Kriebelbauer, and Del Dog. Roboteers, stand by. We've thrown into the arena, by the way, Sergeant Bash. And there he is again, Mr. Psycho. Three, two, the ref boss told Mr. Psycho to go back into the seat. He said, would you take on Mr. Psycho? Daskapek taking on Del Dog at this moment in time. I like the look of Daskapek, I must admit. Don't like the beards or the wizardry hats. The Del Dog team. Daskapek look on. 
driving Del Dog with no real weaponry into the clutches of Mr. Psycho. They've got to get away very, very quickly there. They can get up to 11 miles an hour top speeds and nothing like that at this moment in time. They're spinning away. Don't forget, we know the 25 kilo, 1,000 RPM spinning ring weaponry around Del Dog is not functioning here. A major blow to them. They were up against it right from the word go, but they valiantly stuck to the task. And now they're stuck in the beak jaws of Sergeant Bash crumpling its way through what is largely a defenceless machine, Del Dog, without that weaponry. Look, slicing through very light armor. And it's the end for Del Dog, would you think? Oh no! Oh! Down came the hammer! They love it! Go on! Hit him again! Whoa! Teamwork from the house robots. You understand they're totally neutral in all this. They don't mind whether the UK or Germany wins this. Honest, honest. Sergeant Bash. Look of flame. In comes Daskapet for the right to meet Fluffy in the final. And I think Daskapet are worthy finalists. Del Dog always likely to be second best. Look at the holes. Look at the spinning speed of Daska Peck. Del Dog. Caput. Daska Peck. There's Donner and Blitzen inside that machine, I can tell you. Del Dog. In the pit. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, Del Dog barking up the wrong tree, Das Quebec represents Germany in the final! Um, you're through, Yeah. you're representing Germany yes. in the UK German final. Um, how do you think you're going to fare? Well, we have some magic tricks. We will do some matching on him, and his weapon will not work. Well, um, good luck in the final. <laughs> yeah? Don't worry. OK. OK. Good luck. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Das Kapek! Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations. Das Kapek through for Germany, and they will meet in this special final. Fluffy. The one robot from Germany relying obviously on magic. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> he said with a completely straight face, yes. still. And you, as I've said, yes, you have nearly converted me. You're running from the power of a small black, black hole. hole. Yeah, yes. The magical field strength. This... So, oh, say again, sorry. The magical field strength of this arena is at, at its peak level at this moment. Is and it? The black hole is getting heavier and heavier, and it's getting so heavy they will be sucked right into it. They have a few theories, actually. <laughs> I'm just going over here to safe ground. <laughs> Here come the Germans. Peter Kerner, case seeking. Fluffy. And for the UK, the machine of Peter Holroy, Peter Johnson, and Richard Johnson. Roboteers, stand by. Sergeant Bash is back in the arena for the house robots. And you've already seen him, Mr. Psycho. Is he drooling in anticipation there? Or was it a trick of the light? To his delight, he has metal to munch. Das Gepäck, right of your screen for Germany. Fluffy for the UK. With the spinning blade. Das Gepäck's weaponry, really, the spikes aren't greatly affected, but it can push and ram. 95 kilos, the German machine. Actually, the lighter of the two by five kilos, turning away, can get up to 20 mile an hour top speed. Mind you, so can Fluffy. Very well balanced and well set up this final. 
by far and away the best two machines we've seen. Was that a bit of metal, a shard that flew across the arena there from Daskapek? They look okay. They slam into Fluffy and lock horns. They've got a grip here of Fluffy, no? UK machine breaks away. Trying to, I think, launch a side-on attack on Daskapek. In other words, to get away from those spikes, one of which is wobbling and, and, and totally ineffective anyway. They want to come in on the side, Fluffy. There goes the pit. They'll have to steer away from that. It's in good control, though, from the German team. Case Seeking is driving for his captain, Peter. Daskapek almost on to Sergeant Bash. Fluffy there as well. Fluffy right in front of Daskapek. The pit yawns. What's Daskapek doing here now? Trying to draw Fluffy towards him and into the pit. I don't think they'll fall for that one. At this stage, I can't pick this. It's too close. No great damage caused or sustained. Reasonable level of driving ability. Has the Fluffy weaponry stopped? That could be decisive if it goes to the judges. Mind you, the Daskapek weaponry has hardly been effective throughout. It's going to go to the judges, isn't it? Look, within seconds. I can't see this one ending prematurely, and I can't see a way for the judges to make a decision. I couldn't, on what I've seen. That is so Whoa. close. Wow! Yeah, that was good, man. Whoa! Was that available? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes! An irresistible object meets an immovable force. We're going to have to go to the judges while they make up their minds. Let's see the highlights. They're marking on style, control, damage and aggression. Fluffy the more aggressive there. Maybe a little bit of damage caused at Askapek. Came back on the attack though, did the Germans. The Fluffy weaponry had stopped. I can't make this one out. Oh, but please, judges, don't inflict a UK defeat at the hands of Germany on home soil. Please. The judges have made their decision. Look at style, control, damage, and aggression. They've called it a draw! Oh! What, we, we don't ever have any draws. We, we never normally have draws. No. Are you disappointed? A little bit, but <laughs> it's all English public. I know, I know, I know. Uh, You're playing away. It's definitely an away game, and we're not going to penalties. OK. OK? <laughs> um, it was a good, good bit of fun. Close fight. Yes. They've called it a draw. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going I'm to give this to you guys, because you've come an awful long way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk to Fluffy. Let's hear it for Daskapek!